guys, right, so um, yesterday I went and took some shots on my film camera, um, did two rolls of film um, as I was asked to do for college and today I'm just on my way in there now and we shall be processing the film. So obviously I can't have all of it being filmed while we're in a dark room changing over the film to the developed tank and everything like that but hopefully I can do a quick talk of what I need to be doing X, Y and Z and then you can see the developing process and hopefully the printing process at the end of it um, which will be next week I think um, hopefully next week um, but that's what I'm going to do so I'll see you in a bit <laughs> Development tank, spool, the thing the spool sits onto, so you put it onto there, and then because I've got two films, we'll put two spools on, we'll put them in, right, once that's in, put that on, and then we twist it until it clicks. When, that, when that's clicked, there's no light coming into there, so then it's light tight. So I've just had a little brief one-on-one -on -one with Chris, my lecturer, and he's just given me a quick um, hard film to practice on. So I've got this here, and with that I'm going to just practice loading my spool so that when I turn the lights off I know where my fingers need to be, what I need to be doing, and just feeling around. Probably do a few with my eyes closed just to, just to practice. That was so traumatic. Um, right, there is a clock in here. I think I've been trying to do that for the last 30 minutes. I put the first one in the spool perfectly. The second one, it just would not go in. I had to like shuffle across. So I'm going to show you. So I was working right here, and then in the dark, I had to shuffle along down here, and then feel my way to this box with more spools in feel around, right, and then walk back and then try again with a new spool in the dark and figure out where the little teeth were. <sighs> anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go next door, let Chris know that I've got it all in, it's all out, um, light tight, and then we're going to start mixing up some chemicals to develop. Thanks. Too tricky. You got your three chemicals you've got to use. You use 300 ml of chemical for every one film, so you need 600 of everything. I always mark, usually, they're not that one, but on most of them, so the mark. 300 and the 600 mark, because they're predominantly what people tend to do. So, top up. 600 ml of that. Same as a pound. I'll just check where the 600 ml mark that is until I don't need a retank. What we can now do is you've got to get your developer to 
20 degrees is where that's where I'll be falling. The old fish tank heater. And you've got a few of those up there. I have. <laughs> so you click that in. When the light's on, I set it to be 20 degrees. You just pop it in there. When the light goes off, it's really be 20 degrees. So I'm just gonna double check on the Just double check it on there. So pop that in there, that'll heat it up. What's gonna happen next? Those are ready at room temperature, so you don't do nothing to them, just pour them out and they're ready. That's gonna heat away. When you're ready, the you developer, your film that you've used is HP5 Plus. Yeah. So HP5 Plus, 400 ISO, ID11 stock is what we use here. So it's seven and a half minutes to develop your film. Right. Uh, you grab yourself one of them, set yourself 7.30 and then when you're ready you pour your developer in, pop your cap on, get your fix on bang on. This is where this this bit is where it will definitely start getting messy. That's one. So your developer goes in and then you're going to, for the first minute you're going to agitate which is you're just going to go like yeah. that and as you go side to side it's really important that you rotate it towards you oh, so, yeah. so the developer goes all over the film and around the film and the developer is going to eat away anywhere where the lights fall on the film to start revealing your negatives so you do one minute constant and you give it a tap down to get some air bubbles out and do nothing for a minute then for the remaining five and a half minutes you're just going to do the first 10 seconds of each minute, pop it down, do nothing. When your alarm goes off at the end, crack your cap off, pour your developer back into your developer pot, and then you can just follow these steps. So stop, pour the stop in, yeah. head on, agitate constantly for 30 seconds, just count to 30, have a little bit of time in that. Am I, not, I don't double it. On the stop and fit. No, you, you just get the, as long as the film's in for ten minutes, you're giving enough volume to cover everything. Oh, so, so only, you only double it when it's filmed. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So you pour, you, you stop back in there, you take the fix, you pour your fix in, and then that's got to be for ten minutes. So you reset your alarm for ten minutes, and it's the same process as developer. So one minute constant, one minute left, then you eight minutes just the first 10 seconds yeah so 12 minutes you can't ever write down the exact amount to process a film because a 12 minute developing time in ours none of our fit none of our developer goes there 12 minute developing time you'd potentially be using Ilpatec on HP4 so yeah you do you use these so you've got if your chemical gets to above 20 degrees yeah which it can do we know that at 20 it should be seven and a half minutes so 20 degrees seven and a half minutes if it's a degree more you use a compensation chart so 21 645 yeah 22 six minutes and so on so if you were like stressed for time and you wanted to develop it faster would you yeah, purposely you can, up you, your temperature if you've got if you time because you can't oh you can't overdo it because once you get to above 27 it's saying you'll get uneven results on your film but if you got it to 27 degrees potentially you could take it down to four minutes to do the faster you develop it the more apparent the grain will be on the prints if you're doing street stuff you might yeah. want that so it's always it's always ideal you want it to a, a degree over or under ain't nothing mm. but uh, you want to avoid cooking it it can have a massive effect on your film. But then when you're done, you'll have your pop like this, take the hose, plug it into the whole top, turn it on, leave it for about a minute or two just to overflow with water. Once all that's poured out, you can then take the films out. Yeah. And you're gonna dunk them with wetting agent. So your film will be on that. You just drop it in, give it a little shake, take it out, do it with both. Okay. That stops any drying marks, like white, chalky residue oh, yeah. on it. And then when that's done, yeah. squeeze it, put it in there, clamps, pop them in cab A. If you turn cab A on, it'll be dry in 10 minutes if you want. Right, so um, I'm just going to put in some paper towels first, just because when we add in the developer first, 
it is supposed to be um, sealed shut so there's no leaks or anything but sometimes it can come out so just to be on the side of caution not to get the the worktop too wet and full of chemicals that can you know look that's what happens when they all get on you can't really clean them off so just to do that we can um, put some paper towels down and do that so I'm going to crack on I'm going to start using my developer here we go Right, so that was the first minute done on the developer. So next, every um, so when it gets to every first minute now afterwards, since it's been resting, I will then agitate it for ten seconds again. So when I get the countdown to five minutes thirty left, I'll do another agitation for ten seconds. In the same way. <laughs> So this thing right here, drying tank A, um, they are mains powered as well, so 10 minutes time should be able to get that sorted. So what I'm going to do now is quickly tidy up where I was working and I'll get back to you once they're dry. 